Good morning. It's uh, Saturday, 7 a.m. and we're just watching some videos on Trainer Road. Trainer Road is a YouTube channel all about cycling, so just trying to up my cycling game. And currently my FTP is 200, which is about 2.6 watts per kilogram. Three watts per kilogram would be 230 watts. So my goal in the coming month or two is to have an FTP of 230, so I get that three watts per kg, and that, that way I'll feel like not a huge noob when I'm at three watts per kg, but I am a noob in cycling anyways, so. Makes sense. I need to start getting the, the setup for the indoor trainers because uh, with all this cycling outside, you know, it gets sketchy on the road. Some some drivers, they're, uh, they really brush up close against you and I don't, I don't trust it. I'm just sipping on my greens and reds and black coffee. We're gonna meditate, stretch, and go through my routine there. Today we've got fun activities. I'm just gonna have some eggs. So I have some protein in my stomach and then go out and do a nice long 12K run, real slow pace, like six minutes per kilometer, staying in zone two, not trying, making sure I don't get my heart rate above 140. I actually spoke to my Cairo, who is a mentor of mine and he does triathlons and all, all the patients he sees are people have done 20 Ironmans. So he gave me some advice. Uh, I, I sent him over my training from Training Peaks. My IF was sitting about 0.86 overall which means about 86% intensity. And my TSS was uh, 750 over a seven day rolling period, which is quite high, especially combined with that level of intensity. So he was like, whoa, man, settle down because you're gonna get injured. <laughs> so I took a rest day, feeling fresh. My aura ring says my readiness is real prime. Heart rate is low, fully recovered, ready to take on today. I should be hitting, hitting a, a full upper body session with core later on as well. On Monday, I'm supposed to do a 5K time trial. However, today, my aura ring shows readiness is on point, everything is amazing, I feel the greatest. Previously, I was having some nagging minor tendonitis in my right knee, and after a full day off, and after doing a lot of rehab in the past week, I have no pain at all. On top of that, to, I'm able to get someone to record today, so, if I'm able to get someone to record and all the stars are aligned and I feel great, then we're gonna do this 5K time trial today instead of Monday. So no long run today. I don't even know what to expect. My plan for it was either to pace 420 per kilometer or 430 per kilometer, see how I feel after the first 3K and then up the speed in the last 2K. Before I got COVID, my personal best 5K was 21 minutes on the dot. After COVID, my personal best 5K has been 23.50. I am confident I can get in the 22s. Question is, can I get in the 21s or the 20s? I don't know. You know, I would be ecstatic if I can get back to the personal best and hit that 21 minutes. I don't think it's very likely. And doing the math, I would need to maintain faster than the 420 per K for every kilometer. And I don't know how realistic that is. So for now, what the plan is, is to go out, maintain 430 per kilometer, for the first few kilometers, feel it out, and then give whatever I've got left on the last one, 2K. Pre-workouts, we're gonna have four whole eggs, two slices of toast with jam, and it's already 8.30. We're gonna go do the time trial at about 10.30, so we need time for this to digest, and then we go through some mobility work after. Leave a comment down below, what what do you think my 5K time is gonna be? Give the exact number, you know, 21 minutes and 42 seconds, 22 minutes and 16 seconds, let me know. Leave in the comments below before seeing the end results. Don't cheat. And then we're gonna see what, what we got. The run went better than expected, to be honest. I held 4.15 for most of it and then sent it the last 1600 and maintained about 3.40 per kilometer. Got as fast as about 3.35, 3.30 per kilometer near the end. You know, I was completely spent, but now I know next time I can hold four minutes per kilometer and maintain that the whole time. That's a much better strategy and I would have broke 20 minutes, but it's okay, we got to 20.01. So, you know, by the end of it, I averaged four minutes per K, but I was holding 4.15 for most of it. And I noticed I had much more energy left, so then I did the kick and I sent it at the end and uh, that's what we got. So I'm definitely pleased because my internal goal was to be in somewhere in the 21 minutes, anywhere in the 21s I was pleased with. And I got in the 20s, almost broke 20 by accident. So that's great news. Here's the post 5K run PR. And then we're gonna go train and hit upper body. So this is also pre-lift. Driving the Tesla to the gym. 
Here we go, baby. We got full self driving taking us for a nice ride here. Just finished up at the gym, quality session. Felt strong today and uh, feeling lean. Now we're gonna head home, eat. We gotta do a cycle session. We got coconut basmati rice with a can of tuna. Just added some salt on top of that as the post lift meal. Okay, now we got a nice zone two easy ride. It's about 60% of FTP. We're gonna hold like 130 watts for about an hour. It's more like a recovery cycle. I've got 20 grams of carbs from scratch and one scoop of electrolytes, Vega electrolytes. I'm just gonna be taking the bike for a spin and we might actually go swimming as well. My mom had these smart sweets. I just had two of them. If you have the whole packet, it's 17 grams of fiber. So that's a no, no. I just had two to try, but they're so good. Peach rings, the peach rings ones are so good. 
I was surprised, man. They're delicious. Just got in from today's ride. We averaged 154 watts, 32 kilometers in an hour and nine minutes. I'm just gonna head over to the lake and take my time, just real focus on some drills. It's not gonna be a workout. I'm just gonna go through the motions and make sure I get the frequency in with swimming. So I'll probably do like 25 meter repeats, really focusing on my form. Finish up the swim having a burger and a chicken quarter with some zucchini. All right, so we're having pancakes now after that meal. This is gonna be the uh, last meal of the night. Just a little bit of syrup on top, and we're good.